The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Welcome to Element 14 Presents, the show where you can find amazing hacks, inspired designs, and regrettable acting even after the Ben Heck Show is gone. The show will feature a rotating array of different hosts from around the world, and you can interact with them all on the Element 14 community. Now, who is our first host, you might ask? Well, in today's episode, we're going to introduce you to Clem Meyer from Austria, who's been doing some pretty cool things with the Raspberry Pi. Hey, how's it going, Clem? What are you working on today? Hi, Ben. I've got a pretty crazy project today. I want to take a selfie of myself from mm -hmm. as far away as I could possibly do. Okay. So I'm planning to put a Raspberry Pi and a camera onto a rocket and film myself from up in the air. But rockets go up pretty high in the air. That's going to be a pretty high selfie, isn't it? Yeah, but the steeper the angle, the better I look. I learned that from Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Well, I hope, I hope it works out for you. Good luck. I will. It's a pretty intense project, so I better get started now. Amazing hacks, inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Okay, I'm trying to take a selfie from about, I don't know, 100 meters away. So I need a rocket. Most cameras are too heavy or too bulky for such project. That's why I have to make my own one. I use a Raspberry Pi, the camera module and some additional electronics and a ground station, which will be an old laptop, to control the whole contraption. So I ordered some parts from Element 14 for my project and I got some rocket motors from the guy I talked to about rocketry. And I asked how much of force would I need to push something like a Raspberry Pi into the atmosphere. Even the small B44 type motors have plenty enough force to do the job. It's more of a legal issue how far you can go safely and legally. So turns out I'm allowed to put this thing about 100 meters in the air, 125 to be exact, so I will aim for 100 and calculate the force exerted from the rocket motor in relation to the weight of my final rocket to get somewhere in that area. My uneducated guess for now is the small rocket motors will do the job. You can make rockets from any kind of materials, even just trash. But but of course, I want mine to be entirely 3D printed. So I browsed the internet for rocket designs and I found it on Thingiverse. There is the modular model rocket by Landru. It is thing number 8754 and it's great. So credits to Landru. First I wanted to print my rocket in PETG, but then it turned out I needed to be very, very stiff. So PLA is a stiffer choice. And let's get printing. got the parts printed out. This took over 20 hours on my 3D printer, but it's worth the wait. And I have my other parts here. I've got my Raspberry Pi, the camera, some batteries, a booster circuit, switch, SD card, Wi-Fi dongle, and I also got some wedding to protect the innards while the rocket is exploding. This is needed to protect the innards of the rocket when the second charge explodes and ejects the parachute. I still have no idea how to make a parachute, but I will figure it out later. I have to make one quick change. I wanted to use the Raspberry Pi A+, but this one will not fit in my rocket. But I got my hands on a Raspberry Pi Zero. It's the normal one, not the W. And this will fit, but I want to control all the functions wirelessly. 
because I can't strap a wire to a rocket, obviously. So I have to use a Wi-Fi dongle to access this remotely and I will use a little small laptop to be my ground station. This is how the rocket fits together. On the bottom we have our charge load. Here is the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is the battery. Then the cable goes up to the camera module which is contained in its own little housing on this side. The rest of the rocket is filled up uh, with insulating fiberglass to protect the inert. So I want to wrap it around the Raspberry Pi and the battery to protect it from the second charge. The second charge explodes pulls out all the fibers and pushes out the parachute as well as splitting the rocket here at this line and the nose cone will come off. The parachute should inflate and then the whole thing should come down safely. I hope. I have test recorded some video. Now I am using a little program I wrote which connects to the rocket via SSH and downloads the video file. It takes a little time. The file has about 300 megabytes. To execute the whole mission I need some programs to get stuff automated. So I wrote some Python scripts on my little laptop that I will take with me on the mission. So I connect to the rocket via SSH, tell it to start its launch program uh, which in fact uh, just starts the recording, makes sure everything works and then uh, saves data, converts it into a usable format and shuts itself down safely. The Python script that launches the rocket and controls the video stream runs on the Pi itself, so there's no SSH connection required, but I will make sure that it still executes even if the SSH signal is lost by using the prefix nohub before every command. The second Python script is called getvideo.py and it's essentially logging into SSH on the rocket and getting the file off the rocket onto my laptop. Okay, I've got the whole circuit soldered up. Everything is connected. This one is the first test running of batteries. So, let's start up the Pi. Okay, the Raspberry Pi Zero is booting. Let's log into it with SSH and test it out. This is the video the camera is actually recording. You can see I can move the camera and it corresponds to the image. So that's what the Raspberry Pi is recording right now. The video runs for about three minutes, plus or minus a little bit. Then it will automatically save, convert into MP4 and shut down the Pi. And by that time, I will hopefully have recovered the rocket and then boot it up again and access the data with my laptop. I thought about doing the ignition of the rocket also remotely over the laptop, but for safety reasons, I think I should do it the classic way, manually, so I can abort in case of unforeseeable circumstances. I'm testing out how the parachute will dispatch because I have my doubts about this whole contraption fitting together. This could actually work! Okay, the rocket is recovered, but the camera is still missing. 
Okay, that was the first test. Complete, not complete fail. This thing took off, flew up there and came straight back. The parachute didn't dispatch. So back to the drawing board, second attempt. The rocket is basically shaped the same, but the top section of the rocket contains all the electronics and the bottom section contains the parachute and the load. So this rocket will split in half and I hope that this one will engage the parachute <laughs> the parachute dispatched! Success! <laughs> so it took me a few tries, but technically that's a selfie taken with a rocket. In conclusion, building the rocket pie was a lot of fun, but it would be much easier to just strap a GoPro to a rocket or a longer stick to do the same thing. If I would do this project again, I would spend more time on calculating the right power thrust to payload ratio and get into more research. So I can get a viable rocket the first try. What would you have done differently? Tell us on the Element 14 community. I gotta go, there's another project waiting for me. Mm -hmm.